is Eugen Case One, Eugen Avedi. Athletes ready! It's intriguingly poised in this one as Carl Soderman, the superstar leader of Hollywood free runners. Gets us underway, looking to track down Dave Hogenboom, who is very, very quick, the Dutchman, part of this Eugen team, but he's not quick enough to get away from Soderman just there. Chase two, Hollywood free runner evading, zero all. Athletes ready! Carl Soderman, one of the greatest evaders in this sport. Hanging around by the tilted cube, and off he goes over the sisters. Round by the front line, plenty of speed there as Emil looks to shut him off of the ridge and ends up on his backside. And Carl Soderman turns around and goes back over the sisters to the tilted cube. And this is why he's such a formidable evader. Because he's got the jets, he's got the nous, and he's got the point as well. Carl Soderman moves Hollywood free runners into the lead. Kyle Dan, famous for getting more than one evasion in a row. He's got one for Hollywood free runner. Do you think he can get more? I think he can. See if he does. Chase three, Hollywood free runner evading. One zero, Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! And still you, Jen, don't send in Haroon. Why not send in the main tagger to get the main evader? They send in Dane, who is very, very accomplished, but at the minute, he's just chasing after Carl Soderman and not getting him to go where he wants. Round the loading bay and over the mountain, and that one just does grab him. Had he not got him there, I'm not sure he got him at all. Yeah, that late on, coming up to the 15 second mark, he has not much choice but to dive for a tag, up the ramp, get the tag, even pushes Kyle over slightly. Chase four, Eugen evading. 1-0, Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! Omar Zaki with a little shuffle before he heads off, going straight at Dane, but then pulls out of it and gets across court to get into the tilted cube and the dive is made and Dane acknowledges the tag was made as well. This replay is brought to you by evader.com. Buy your official WCT athlete jersey here. Chase five. Hollywood free runner evading. 1 0. Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! Omar Zaki going full sumo with the big stamps on the floor by the tilted cube. And it's a lot more elegant as he heads over the sisters and certainly very quick as he heads under the ridge and then the loading bay and over the mountain he goes. And Dave Hogenbaum trying to top down that space and he does. It looked like a, like a fist to the back. Dave there with some really nice chasing, not choosing to catch the bait that Omar's putting out, not tailing him in his exact route, but finding the shorter way round, watching his evader and making decisions that would push him into the right area. Chase six, Eugen evading, 1-0, Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! A reminder, Eugen need to win this by three points if they're to progress in this year's tournament. They are already down by one, and Dale Smith, my <laughs> word, descends <laughs> down from the loading bay in the mountain, makes so much contact that Dave goes tumbling out of the quad entirely. Look, Dan, the earnest is on the tagger to make sure the tag is made. Dale here <laughs> just smashing out, Dave. Chase seven, Hollywood free runner. 1-0, Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! Little doubt about the previous tag from Dale Smith. He looks to have a similarly emphatic evasion here and double Hollywood free runners lead as Sam comes around the tilted cube and looked like he may have just caught a bit of a trailing hand as he went round the corner. Dale, not the strongest evader for Hollywood Fruna. He's a safe bet for a tagger, but not always the best to get those evasions. You've got to use your players wisely in World Chase Tag. It's a team game. Chase eight, Eugen evading. 1-0, Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! Caleb Bergstrom, new recruit for Hollywood free runners on the Ninja Championship League. But can he track down Sam here, who races around the front line? It's all looking a little bit sketchy. Somehow he manages to maintain his footing. And he has a lovely follow-up move through the mountain. Absolutely incredible. He 
went from disaster to victory. What a chase! Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. This is Eugen's pick to replace Sketchy Andy, a crowd favourite, and it seems to be Sam has a little sketch in him himself. Chase nine, Eugen evading one all. Athletes ready! Gave it the old Sue as well from Ono to Ronaldo. As Carl Soderman, one of the Galacticos of this sport. Look at the pace he maintains through the mountain there. And Sam, oh, his only, it was inevitable. Sam has got to have an absolute full gas tank if he's prepared to run away from Soderman. Having just got an evasion, I cannot see this happening on the front line. That is not a place you want to be. Chase 10, Hollywood free runner evading. One all. Athletes ready! Eugen sending Dane again after Carl Soderman. Is this a tactic? They've got Haroon waiting in the wings. This is like having a bazooka and going to war with a pea shooter instead. But it's worked! It's worked again! Got that secret little pea shooter here, Dane, making it happen. Kyle choosing the low ground here, scrambling a unexpected style for him. This is Dane's strong suit. He is the scrambler king from World Chase Tag 2 and 3. Chase 11, Eugen evading, one all. Athletes ready! Marcus stepping up, still level at one apiece, but time is running out for Eugen to pull off the most miraculous of escapes. And Dane, look at the pace as he goes low, that's where he does his best work, and it's just paid off there against Marcus. Oh, he was just trying to shrink! He's trying to breathe in, make himself tiny. And if he made himself a little bit tinier, maybe he might have squeezed past him. Really unorthodox route there by Dane, zigging and zagging through the center of quad and using his scrambling technique to pick routes that maybe Hollywood free and I have not seen before. And the crowd are going wild here for Dave on the chaser plate when it is Chase one all. 12. Eugen need to make the tag and they need to get three more points if they're to have any hope of going further in the competition. Marcus is looking to end their hopes right now. And he cuts across the center of the court and Dave is in close attendance and he does not need to make his move. Real patience again shown by Dave because he knew a better chance was going to present itself as long as he didn't overcommit. Chase 13, Eugen evading one all. Athletes ready! Dave needs points for Eugen, or their campaign will be coming to an end in the group stage. And Omar Zaki is looking to put an end to those hopes. As Dave goes around the front line and under the ridge and by the loading bay, and he's going to come back by the same route, but not the full distance, as he heads over to the mountain. And a slide from Omar Zaki, he's nowhere near, nowhere near. And the dream is still alive for Eugen and Dave. We got green for the evasion. We've got green Eugen and we've got a bunch of Eugen fans here in your call on their feet cheering on Dave. Chase 14, Eugen evading. Match point, Eugen. Athletes ready! Well, Carl Soderman is looking to make the tag and doesn't, that dive didn't connect, but that one certainly did. And Carl Soderman, once again, the go-to man for Hollywood freerunners, makes the tag. We know that Eugen won't go any further in the tournament, but can they sign off with a win? Chase 15, Hollywood freerunner evading. Match points, Eugen. Well, Dane has managed to get Carl Soderman a couple of times. Can he make it a third? Or will the Soderman fizz into action once again? Round the front line and up and onto the sisters. A little bit of idling by the tilted cube and a slide under the mountain to the loading bay. And off he goes, and Dane's got tangled up. And the thing is with Carl Soderman, you might catch him once, you might catch him again, but eventually he's going to get away from you and put points on the board. Got Emil stepping up for Eugen. Again, not using 
the person that I'd most want to put against someone like Carl Soderman, one of the best evaders in the sport. I'd put one of the best taggers in the sport against him in Haroon. Match point, Hollywood free runner. Athletes ready! Eugen, do not go for Haroon, the main man for tagging in this sport. And Carl Soderman, one of the main man for evading, is looking to win it for Hollywood free runners. Oh, 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 oh. What a tag there from Emil, jumping from the mountain straight down onto Carl Soderman for the tag. Seems to have bashed something in his face though, checking his lip for blood. Hopefully Emil is okay, but we're going to have to go into sudden death at this point because it is a draw at the end of this match. Eugen are going out of the tournament, but they are going down with a fight. It is a sudden death chase-off between Hollywood Freerunners and Eugen. It is the longest duration evasion that wins it. First sudden death of the World Championship here. We've got Hollywood Freerunners and Eugen coming neck to neck, having to go into a sudden death. So it is Omar Zaki for Hollywood Freerunners who will start things off as the evader. Remember, he is looking to set as high a time as possible, ideally 20 seconds. And it is down to Sam to stop him. If he can get a quick tag here, he gives Eugen a chance to sign off with a victory. Ten seconds! Sudden death chase off. Chase one. Forward three runner available. Athletes ready! Expect something frenetic. Omar moves towards his man. A little gambit, and it looks to have paid off because it's bought him a few seconds at the start of this as he races around the outside. And he goes back the other way, and there's a dive, and it's claimed. It's claimed, but not given. Not yet. And Sam, this is valuable time he's losing, and it became desperate, but he did make the tag. Now he has not got to 20 seconds, Omar, but he has put a very, very respectable time on the board unless that first attempt is given as a tag. We're seeing, yeah, there was definitely the referees counting the first tag, but there seems to be a little bit of a dispute between the players. Sam thinking he got him earlier near the ridge. This is going to go down to a disputed tag review. They had to keep on chasing. That's fair. Omar Ozaki is like, if, if he didn't feel it, keep on chasing. Now, yes. this might be given, in which case the target that you, Jen, have got to be is going to be much, much smaller. Yeah, it's definitely in Eugen's interest to get the DTR pass through here. If you get a DTR wrong, if you call it and it doesn't happen, you may not call another one later on in the match. But that does not matter so much because it's the only time they're trying to get tagged and Sam's calling it. Eugen and confident. Sam are convinced that they've made contact, but I'm not so sure. Omar's not so sure either. This is a dispute between the players. They're not thinking it's happening. And when it's going to our head referee in Cozy to review the replay, check the footage, and see if there was a tag. Well, that's the second one. We know he got in the second time. Mm. It's the first one that matters. Chase one, official time, 17.2 The first one is seconds. denied. The second one is the one that registers. And it means that you, Jen, have got to last almost 17 and a half seconds. That is a tall, tall order. We've got a big chant here. In, in your call, everyone supporting Eugen, who have now turned into the underdogs of this match. Without this win, they are going home tonight. Sudden death chase off, chase two, Eugen evading. Athletes ready! Dave Hogenboom has to treat this like get an evasion. 18 seconds is pretty much an evasion anyway. Dale Smith knows he's got a bit of time. He doesn't have to get in first time, but he's probably only going to get a couple of goes. And there's a swing, and there's a swing, and that was two goes, and he might not get another. Oh, dive! Oh, slammed into the boat! And evasion given, tag, what are we saying? Those first few swipes, so I thought Dale got it much early on, underneath the mountain, a couple of good swipes, and then we come all the way around the front line, speeding up, diving over to Dave, looking for a sniper tag on the bar. Did he catch his fingers, or did he just catch the bar? You can see in Dale's face, 
that he has not got anything more to give in that exact moment. Absolute determination on that dive there. Over an angled bar on the front line, you might not be able to see there. We do know that Hollywood free runners will be going through in second place to the playoffs. We do know that Eugen will be going out, but they can salvage some pride by taking a victory against this team of Californian stuntmen. The tag was made at 16.16, and that means that Hollywood Freerunners take the sudden death victory. Eugen get one measly consolation point, and that is it as they are knocked out of World Chase Tag 5's World Championship. Hollywood Freerunners through to the playoffs with one defeat, one victory, and that narrow sudden death win over Eugen.